Hello Genetics 311 students. Today we will be discussing and breaking down a phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetic trees are visual diagrams representing evolutionary relationships among groups of organisms based on their characteristics. In this video, we will be analyzing a phylogenetic tree I made of shoes. Groups are classified based on their degrees of similarities and defined as operational taxonomic units, or OTUs. In my example, each shoe is an OTU. Okay, before we begin breaking down this phylogenetic tree, I would like to go over some of its qualities so the explanation makes a lot more sense. In phylogenetic trees, an internal node represents a divergence event, meaning a splitting apart of a single group into two descendant groups. They represent a common ancestor that existed before divergence took place. The most recent common ancestor is the most recent individual from which all the organisms of the set are descended. For example, the most recent common ancestor between the old school low top bands and the slip on low top bands is represented by this internal node. It's important to note two species are more similar if they have a more recent common ancestor and less similar if they have a less recent common ancestor. Additionally, this phylogenetic tree is a rooted tree because there is one internal node up there which represents a common ancestor to all the other nodes of the tree. Now we can begin analyzing the phylogenetic tree. First, we notice there is an outgroup. An outgroup is an organism least related to the other organisms and diverges earlier on. In this example, the sandal is the outgroup. Although it is a type of shoe, it is not a sneaker like the rest of the footwear. Next, the sneakers split into low tops and high tops. The splitting of a lineage into two species which evolve separately is termed cladogenesis. In this example, cladogenesis occurs when the low top sneakers diverge from the high top sneakers. The high top shoes evolve into different brands and colors independently from the low top shoes, which evolve into their own brands and colors. Looking at the low top sneakers, we can see it diverges by brand into New Balance and Vans. The evolution within a single lineage over time is termed anagenesis. In this example, anagenesis occurs when the New Balance shoe develops over time. Notice there's no branching like in cladogenesis. The low top bands then diverge based on style between slip-ons and old school, and even furthermore based on pattern and color. Please note the more closely related items have shorter branches, like the black and white old school low top bands and the checkered and pink slip-on low top bands. Now, looking at the high tops, anagenesis occurs as the high top converse evolves within a single lineage over time. The high top bands further diverge by color. Now, putting together everything we just learned and looking at the bigger picture, this phylogenetic tree makes a lot more sense. Thank you all for watching and shout out to my little sister for letting me borrow all of her shoes.